Sell high, buy high. Are you a property buyer who is wondering if you can still make a profit when prices are at an all-time high today? Hello everyone, I'm Vivian and welcome back to my channel. A while ago, I met a HDB owner who has fully paid their flat and they are not sure of their next move. They asked me three questions. First, they are unsure if they should cash out on their profits and buy a property given that prices are at an all-time high. They were also thinking that if they were to buy now, does that mean that they will be using these profits to pay a premium for their next property? Second, they feel that it is safe for them to hold on to this property since property prices are still continuously going up anyway. Third, they purchased their property at a relatively lower price as first owners and they will definitely not be able to find anything similar in the price today, let alone in this bullish market. Well, the main reason why I'm bringing this up is because I realise that these are the same challenges that many of my clients are facing right now. So if you're also in this juncture and considering whether to stay put or swap for the next property, I'll be running through all these options just like what I've shared with my owner and by the end of this video, you'll have a better clarity of your next move. So before going through this case study, let's first look into the HDB price trend over the past years. Since HDBs are currently at the peak in terms of prices, it will be relevant for us to wind all the way back to 2013, which was the last market high, to understand more. So you can see from the chart, from 2008 all the way to 2013, prices have increased significantly over the years. As HDBs were public housing that were meant to be affordable, the government announced a series of cooling measures to moderate the increase in housing prices. This movement has caused HDB prices to take a hit and stabilise for the next 7 to 8 years. Things finally took a turn in 2020 when COVID hit. This is when HDB prices finally rebounded due to the increased demand and lack of supply in immediate homes. To date, the HDB prices have once again hit a new high with many record-breaking deals all across the island. However, the biggest concern here is, will the government allow prices to continue escalating if their aim is to keep HDB prices affordable? I guess not, right? In fact, this is something that will be a concern and here is why. To put things into perspective on how this affects the prices of HDBs, I'm going to take this particular block in Pongo as reference which has experienced the period when property market turned from bullish to bearish and bullish again. I think it is natural for all of us to agree that HDB flats should be able to maintain its value given that it is considered the safest asset, right? Now, let's dive deeper into the data. In October 2012, which was the last market peak, the price for a 5-room HDB here went as high as $650,000. Fast forward to 2016, a unit on a similar floor was transacted at $475,000, a total difference of almost $200,000 lesser in a short span of 4 years. While for many, a HDB flat is mainly for their own stay, but however, many HDBs like this do face the risk of not being able to retain its value just like what we have seen earlier. Just imagine not knowing the right time to sell and as a result losing all of your hard-earned money. This is definitely not something that I wish any one of you would experience just because you were caught unaware of not knowing what to do. So what can actually be done to protect these profits and grow your wealth in a systematic way? The truth is, back then in 2013, the market was also very hot just like today and many owners were also facing the sell high, buy high dilemma. However, if this same HDB owner were to lock in his profits from the sale of his flat in 2013 and swap for a $1.2 million property in Bartley Ridge, the total profits will be almost $492,000 by 2018, a short span of 5 years. Not only that, if along the way, supposedly he were to swap again and purchase a $1.45 million property in Forest Woods, he will be earning an additional of $227,000, taking his total profits to almost $720,000 within 10 years. These are the kind of opportunities that were missed out along the way just because they were holding on to the same property to this date. 
Through this, our biggest takeaway is swapping of the right kind of properties can actually multiply our profits faster in a safe and systematic manner. In fact, we can still have the same level of comfort and enjoy growth at the same time if we know how to leverage on this swap opportunity. My biggest advice for you is to first look through the performance of your property. This is actually my biggest concern as many properties right now are actually in this same scenario and many owners are actually not aware and do not want to lock in on their profits. Secondly, if you decide to swap to protect your profits, always buy into a development which can maintain its value. One of the best ways is to buy into a price where most owners are entering at. Most properties do follow a trend whereby it will follow a time frame of appreciation and stabilization no matter how good or bad the property market is. Therefore, it is important for you to understand this and time your exit to maximize your profits. With that, I will end off my sharing for today. Do reach me at my contact number below if you require advice on this and I'll see you in my next one. Bye-bye!